Okay, so I want to give you a quick overview on what Viral Mate can actually do for you on your website. If I refresh this page quickly, so let's say a user lands on your page and you want a pop-up to appear at a certain time. Um, I don't actually call them pop-ups, I call them overlays because it's bas basically a page on top of your website. Now, they can appear at any time that you want. On this page, I've said it, so when, once the user scrolls to the bottom of the page, the pop-up appears. Now obviously there's lots of different settings around here and you don't have to have all these settings. I can hide the close button, the bookmark button, I don't excuse me. I don't need to have the top bar and I can also hide the social buttons along the side. Um, as you can see, I've got a video at the top. I could have anything, I could have an image or an advert or anything I wanted, even an opt-in form. It's completely customizable. And down the bottom I've got a yes or a no. So basically, depending on what answer I click, depends on what they see next. So if I click on yes, it takes me to a like us on Facebook button with another, with another video on the side, which doesn't seem to want to stop. Anyway, so that's basically the theory behind it. If I go to show you one more time exactly what will happen if I click the no button instead, you'll see it will redirect me to a different overlay so you, you can depending on what action a user takes depends on what direction they're sent in now this is a pre-designed template as was the other one I shown you it's got a countdown timer these are all pre-designed so they're really simple and quick to set up I'm going to show you one more example very quickly so this is another one that I've set up it appears after three seconds but I could set it to 17 or 18 seconds um, you can set it to any time you like. Now a full page pop-up. This is exclusive to Viral May. I haven't seen any other plugins or even any other websites do this. It's basically a landing page that you can put onto a high traffic web page. Instead of redirecting people, you literally layer, layer this page over the top of a high traffic page. And you can grab so many opt-ins. It's a very clever way of doing it. Obviously this one's got this is a pre-designed template, it comes with Viral Mate. It's got a countdown, opt-in form, and you can sign up with Facebook using the one-click features. So I'm gonna close this one. I don't really want to opt in. And as you can see, a second video follows up. And it's exactly the same again, but I I could send it to any of the pre-designed templates that I have set up. So I could redirect them to an even more tempting offer. Right, I'm gonna show you one more quick feature. Let's say I don't sign up to any of the opt-in forms and I close the page. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've just had an opt-in bar appear right at the bottom. Now this is a follow-up and it stays at the bottom until, until they go on to the next page. So it gives them another opportunity to sign up to your mailing list. I'm going to show you a quick example of inside the dashboard. Uh, you click on the viral mate and it gives you a bunch of uh, options to choose. I'm gonna create a new pop-up. I'm gonna call it pop, 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 pop. Click on the add button and you get presented with a whole bunch of options. General options, display, content, opt-in, video and design. Now, if you go to general, you'll see there's different templates available. You've got the countdown, download template, like reveal, share template, viral inviter, feed burner template, landing page, white, subscribe form with bullet, subscribe form with video, simple subscribe form, a scalable video, video squeeze page, simple video, or yes or no template. Now, I'm planning on releasing a lot more, um, but there's so many features in this plugin. Depending on what template you choose, depends on what options they give you below. See, some of them disappear, depending on what template you're using. Um, have a quick look at the display options. So you choose what page you want your pop-up to display on. You choose when you want it to display, when they leave the page, scroll to the bottom, when the page is loaded, after a set amount of time, if they click the close button, where to send them, if they click on the action button, where to send them, the cookie life, if you want it none, or for days, it, it depends. You can have it appear every time someone lands on the site or you can remember them for a certain amount of time and make sure you don't show them again. Add in your own top bar, put in your top bar text, add in your delayed opt-in bar. 
there's so many features um, it would take me a long time to explain all of them um, there's also a really clever shortcode um, system that we've implemented with the blank template which means you can add in your own share buttons like buttons Facebook connect reveal buttons add in your own videos so when it comes to customizing your own templates is very customizable let's just put it that way okay moving on we've got our video options works with YouTube Vimeo and easy video player and our design right into the design we can hide the close button we can add a add to bookmarks button never show again button and show a panel of social network share buttons and that floats at the side of the screen next you can choose the pop-up side if you're uploading your own background images you can choose all your your top bar colors from the text to the background to the shadow and you can choose to have a shadow effect by clicking on this button here you can disable it and keep it nice and plain simple looking you can upload your own background image this is great for blank templates and designing your own full page overlays and you can click to hide the standard background image if you upload your own one you want to make sure you hide the background image you can offset it so push it to the left to the right up or down upload your own close button upload your own next button upload your own Facebook share button you can even upload a floating image and you can actually hyperlink that image so you can make it clickable so you could have an, a floating advert and you can choose where you want that image as well if you want it top left right wherever and you can float it to the left or right using these buttons and you can choose if you're using one of the the bullet form templates you can choose a, a type of bullet that you want to to use on your template and there's complete custom CSS and HTML for each template so you can basically edit it in any way you want and it will only affect this one version of the template so you could you could have four of the same templates on different pages but if you modify the custom CSS on this one it will only affect this this overlay so you can redesign the the templates that are already there as much as you like and it will only affect that one page right background shadow color so you know when you land on a pop-up you can normally see you can see through the background and you can see the page underneath well you can change the color so instead of just having a black black you can add blue red pink orange whatever you want and also you can change your pasty now this is where the full page overlays come in you set that to a hundred and instantly it's like a blank sheet it's like they're looking at a new web page but the truth is if they click on the close button they'll end up back where they started hope you enjoyed viral mate if you need to know anything else let me know in fact I forgot to show you the analytics let's head on to the analytics quickly um, if you click on the analytics tab this is actually designed to show you the whole chain so I've got two pop-ups in this chain and it shows how many people have viewed it for each pop-up how many unique views how many actions and how many exits now this is the pop-up I showed you earlier and you might have noticed on the pop-ups I said don't subscribe and that's showing why there's no actions there's no actions because I told them not to subscribe it shows exactly how many people exited the page and that's how it works so I look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you on the inside